Hello and welcome to the launch of the 2021 Edinburgh Science Festival. I'm Simon Gage, CEO of Edinburgh Science, and I'm only sorry that I'm not speaking to you in person, but this will come soon enough and I look forward to it. We have a really fantastic programme to announce today that I hope will inspire all of you to attend and to feel once again the joy of discovering something new, surprising, uplifting or inspirational at a festival event. We are surely living in a time when the benefits of science are obvious to most. Testing for COVID, its treatment and the creation of vaccines to prevent it, all provided by brilliant science and scientists, have given us a way out of this pandemic. There is now much to be hopeful about and what better way to do this than with a science festival. Soon you will hear more about what the programme holds. But before then, I do want to express my considerable thanks to those that have ensured Edinburgh Science has survived what has been a challenging year. Proceedings for us came to an abrupt and hard stop on March 19th, 2020, only two weeks before our festival. After a period of hibernation and restructure, we have emerged fit, strong and eager to get back to engaging audiences in exciting ways. Our school's programmes are up and running again in new formats and in a few weeks we will return to staging a festival. This has only been possible because of the quite extraordinary generosity and flexibility of those that support us. Whether it is the City of Edinburgh Council, the Scottish Government, our commercial sponsors, supporters from foundations or private individuals, I want to thank everyone sincerely for standing by us and ensuring not only that we survived, but that we have come back fit to do what we do best. I also want to thank every member of the Edinburgh Science Festival staff. As with many cultural organisations, this has been for them all a hard and uncertain year. And finally, to what I'd normally be doing now at the launch of a festival, I want to thank our many partners across the city and beyond that make this festival happen. The National Museum of Scotland, the Royal Botanic Garden, the Zoo, Dynamic Earth, Summer Hall, the University of Edinburgh, many other universities and the dozens of organisations that will stage events and welcome audiences over the two weeks. I wish you all a wonderful festival. I hope to bump into you in real life or online. And many thanks again for all you have done and are about to do. And as always, Please tell the world it is happening. I'd now like to hand over to Hannah Schlesinger, Director of Development and Marketing. Hi, I'm Hannah, Director of Development and Marketing at Edinburgh Science. Thanks for joining us for our festival launch. I know that you're all eagerly awaiting details of the 2021 Edinburgh Science Festival programme, and I promise you'll hear all about it. But first, an overview of the year we've had. As the world's first and still one of the world's largest science festivals, it's perhaps not surprising that we take the climate emergency very seriously and you'll soon hear about how we're incorporating this theme into the festival. For two years, we've taken a leadership role in the climate conversation and have used our convening power and connections to positively influence attitudes and behaviours. Regular high-level meetings have included a session with Chris Stark of the UK's Committee on Climate Change and more focused and innovation-seeking workshops. One of the first ideas to emerge was the Net Zero Toolkit, a package of resources to assist organisations on the road to Net Zero. Bailey Gifford commissioned this project, which launches soon. A huge thanks to those who've supported Edinburgh Science Climate this year. The last year or so has been difficult for everyone and we're forever grateful to those supporters that have stuck by us and trusted us to deliver our charitable effort in new and unusual ways. Generation Science, our touring primary school education programme, turns 30 this year. Determined to deliver this project but unable to enter schools, we've been delivering boxes packed full of incredible kit to schools in disadvantaged and hard to reach communities across Scotland, as well as to key worker hubs before the schools returned. We've trained teachers and created wonderful videos with our science communicators sharing their knowledge and enthusing children. Feedback from schools shows that this has been hugely valued. Careers Hive encourages young people to consider the wide variety of employment opportunities open to them if they continue with science, technology, engineering and maths or STEM subjects by introducing pupils to our real life STEM professionals. 
This year, we created Careers Hive in a virtual world. You and your teenagers can visit it now through our website. Bailey Gifford is the headline supporter of Edinburgh Science Learning. Thank you. We are very grateful for what you enable us to achieve. And thanks to all those supporting this work, including the Scottish Government, the Army, Garfield Western Foundation, Institute of Acoustics, QR Kieran, the McRobert Trust, Royal Academy of Engineering, Royal Society of Chemistry and Siemens, to name just a few, as well as our catalysts, those individuals that privately make donations. And on to our science festival. With a very different programme this year, we were delighted that Cirrus Logic became the Edinburgh Science Festival headline sponsor, trusting us implicitly by agreeing this support before the programme was finalised. Thank you. And thank you to all of those that are helping us to bring science and culture to everyone, including the Scottish Government, City of Edinburgh Council, Expo and Place Funds, Edina Trust, Bailey Gifford, and Scotland's Event Recovery Fund from Event Scotland. Thanks also to the resilience funds and grants that have allowed us to get on with our work this year. The Culture, Organisations and Venue Recovery Fund, the Hugh Fraser Foundation and Visit Scotland's Pivotal Events Business Fund. Finally, from my colleagues and I and all of our beneficiaries, thank you to the individuals that support our charitable effort, the trusts and foundations that believe in the impact that we make and the companies that work with us to create mutually beneficial partnerships. You make this happen. We're proud of the work that we do, but we could not do this alone. This festival is for you all. And now over to Amanda Tyndall, Festival and Creative Director. Hello everyone. I'm Amanda Tyndall, the Festival and Creative Director at Edinburgh Science, and I'm delighted that you can join us virtually for the launch of the 2021 Festival Programme. In the words of Dunbar local John Muir, when we try to pick out anything by itself, we find it hitched to everything else in the universe. In a year that sees us celebrate the 20th anniversary of the publication of the first draft of the human genome and the 50th year since the invention of email and the inception of the World Food Programme, we explore how we are all connected to each other, to planet Earth and to the wider universe with a festival theme of One World, Science Connects Us. It's an understatement to say that this has been an exceptional year, a year that's shown us just how intimately interconnected our world is and how it's more crucial than ever that we acknowledge the value of this connectivity. From the DNA we share with each other and other species to the communications networks that connect us with the rest of the world. From our responsibility for the custodianship and sustainability of the planet to collective efforts to combat the threat of pandemics, no man or woman is an island. We are all connected. We share one world and need to innovate and collaborate across borders, boundaries and disciplines to tackle global challenges and embrace the opportunities and possibilities ahead. Reason, rationality and a connection to the science that's so central to our lives have never been more important. And in a spirit of optimism, resilience and hope, our 2021 festival explores innovative new ideas and formats. So the bit you've been waiting for, what will this look like? Thematically, we'll cover science of all sorts, but a few things deserve a special mention. As Hannah's already referred, as always, the climate emergency is very much at the centre of our thinking. We're committed to programming for the planet and the 2021 festival will help shine a spotlight on the climate emergency as the eyes of the world turn to Scotland in advance of the COP26 summit in Glasgow in November. Format wise, our digital offer will build on what we've learned this past year to deliver over 160 online experiences for all ages from exhibitions, presenter-led workshops and science shows, to discussions and downloadable family activities. But at heart, we're deliverers of inspirational live experiences, and that we're delighted that whilst it won't look quite the same as in a normal year, we will be back in the live game, with a focus on getting out and about and interacting with science of all sorts. There are too many to mention, but I'll rattle through a few highlights. Our place-funded Pale Blue Dot exhibition, created to form part of the Scottish Year of Coasts and Waters, but sadly unable to make its planned debut in 2020, will this year feature at the National Museum of Scotland, exploring the essential, transformative and life-giving nature of Earth's oceans. Our popular photography exhibition will this year take the theme of human nature. At a time when Earth's ecosystems are in crisis, this large-scale outdoor exhibition will focus on the importance of the natural world to our health and happiness and on how the global community are tackling the climate crisis. Healthcare and medicine are unsurprisingly key themes this year. Artist Luke Jerram's In Memoriam installation will have its Scottish premiere at the Botanic Gardens, 
commemorating those lost in the COVID-19 pandemic and honouring NHF staff and volunteers. Sticking with all things artistic, our 2020 Expo Commission Elemental from Brightside Studios will finally get the audience it deserves, delivering a new immersive multimedia experience that explores the theory of the elements. Outdoor walks, tours, trails, exhibitions and installations form a really important part of our programme this year, using the city as a playground and allowing audiences to safely get their science fix this summer. One highlight of this will be our Women in STEM Street Art Trail, part of our ongoing efforts to champion the achievements of women in science. As always, we've strived for balanced gender representation, and this year I'm delighted to announce that 60% of our participants are women. Alongside all of this, our work with communities is ongoing, some of our partners are involved in the Street Art Trail, and we're taking some of our favourite science busks into Leith Primary School playgrounds. And our skills development and training work also hasn't stopped, and we'll see the Ed SciFest Delegate Programme return in online form for 2021. So in all, it's been quite a year, but we're very, very glad to get back to doing what we love most, bringing inspirational science experiences to the people of Edinburgh and to the world. Before I finish, I'd like to reiterate the thanks that Simon and Hannah have expressed for the people that make all of this possible. Yes, that's you, the partners and audiences that make the festival oh so special. So check out the programme, spread the word, and I very much look forward to connecting with you all. Thank you.